Leah Thomas, the biological man who now identifies as a woman who's competing against actual women in the NCAA championships, has been doing this for months without actually being called out from anyone in women's swimming. Now, it's taken a while, but finally we have that. This is not some anonymous report. This is not a couple people getting together and talking anonymously to outkick the coverage and saying, we don't like Leah Thomas. We think that this person is a disingenuous piece of garbage. We know exactly what they are trying to do. No, this is someone that put their name on it and immediately they're getting punished for it. Virginia Tech swimmer Rika Georgi says her final spot was stolen from her by Leah Thomas because of the NCAA's decision to let someone who is not a biological female compete. Now, it did not take long after Rika Georgi put this out on all different social media platforms to get suspended from Twitter. And if you go and read this letter, which we'll take a look at some of the more important parts of, if you read this letter, never once did Rika misgender someone or anything like that. In fact, used all the pronouns that Leah Thomas would like for her to use. But that's not enough. She is opening the veil that there are actual real women out there who are pissed off about this. And that is not okay. So she was suspended from Twitter. Completely disgusting. Female swimmer issues letter to NCAA after losing spot to Leah Thomas. Virginia Tech swimmer Rika Georgi lost her spot to compete in Friday's 500 Freestyle National Championship due to transgender competitor Leah Thomas. Georgi's story of getting booted out of contention, knocked down to 17th spot in the preliminary meet, went viral after a teammate shared Georgi's plight spent towards qualifying for her final NCAA meet, but losing out to a biological man. Uh, Thomas finished 500 with a record-breaking time after registering the 433 in the prelims. Georgi decided to further her qualm with Thomas in addition by submitting a letter to the NCAA calling for the pre preservation of fair competition in women's athletics as the subject of transgenderism takes center stage. Now, none of these tweets are, are found because, again, her Twitter got suspended for telling the truth. All these people want to say trust the science. All these people want to say support women. You're suspending a woman for saying factually accurate things about the biological male who's trying to compete as a woman. And you've silenced her voice. That is fucking disgusting. With all due respect, I'd like to address something that's a problem in our sport right now and hurting athletes, especially female swimmers. Uh, the Hungarian swimmer offered support for Thomas, literally said, uh, use all the pronouns that Leah Thomas would like her to use. Say, I support this person's right to exist. I do consider them like whatever they want to consider themselves. However, that doesn't make this fair. On the other hand, I would like to critique the NCAA rules that allow her to compete against us who are biological women. I'm writing this letter right now in hopes the NCAA will, will open their eyes and change these rules in the future. It doesn't promote our sport in a good way, and I think it's disrespectful against the biological female swimmers who are competing in the NCAA. It feels like the final spot was taken from me because of the NCAA's decision to let someone who is not a biological female compete. Every event that transgender athletes competed in was one spot taken away from biological females throughout the entire meet. It's the result of the NCAA and their lack of interest in protecting their athletes. I asked the NCAA to think about all the other biological women in swimming and think about how they would feel if they were in our shoes. Make the right changes for our sport and for a better future in swimming. This is the same woman who uh, uh, basically a clip went viral of someone talking about how their teammate, how they saw someone breaking down in tears when their spot was taken away by Leah Thomas, a biological man trying to compete against biological women. Of course, that video has been deleted from social media because the big tech overlords are doing everything they can to protect this piece of human garbage. That's what Leah Thomas is. Leah Thomas knows exactly what they're doing. Uh, they've said as much. They even now are intentionally trying to lose to stop so much of the backlash from happening. This is someone, Rika Georgi, I don't know if I'm exactly pronouncing that right, but, but this is someone who would have been 16th, would have been seated 16th, would have take, took place in the consolation finals. Those are still points. For those of you who don't, don't know, the top eight will swim in the finals. Nine through 16 will swim in the consolation finals. Sometimes you hear A finals, B finals, whatever it may be. It's a little different, different, you know, whether you're talking about high school or college, NCAA, whatever. But 
You can still rack up points for your team in the consolation finals. You can still do things in the consolation finals that now she's not able to do because her spot was taken away by someone pretending to be a woman, a biological man who is now saying that they are a woman in Leah Thomas. And she gets suspended on Twitter for coming out against that. I give her props. Uh, no, no women in the sport have come up and like put their name to it yet. She's going to be attacked. She's going to be called a, a transphobe, all these things. But finally, someone in this sport is standing up after it's been decimated for months by a biological male competing with them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.